Second tornado had stronger winds and traveled twice as far as the Clark Mills twister and no one was hurt, yet three people were killed in Clark Mills. Yeah, the deadly outcome of that storm raising the question of whether those families actually got a tornado alert on their phones. Now, instead of issuing emergency alerts for entire counties, the National Weather Service will send out tornado warnings to the areas that forecasters think will be directly in the path of the storm. They do this by drawing polygons around the most threatened areas. Now, this is a zoomed-in view of one of those polygons that was drawn on Sunday. The tornado warned area highlighted here in red. The green line is the tornado's actual path. And as you can see, about a quarter mile of the tornado's path fell outside the polygon. That is where six-year-old twin sisters Emily and Kenny Bisson and 50-year-old Shelly Johnson were killed from trees falling on their homes. News Channel 9 took those concerns directly to the National Weather Service. Some of those people may not have gotten the alert on their phones. That is possible, but again, it depends on the uh, smartphone model that they have, the settings of their phone, and then even the locations of the cell towers that they're receiving their signal from. Looking at the timeline, the National Weather Service issued severe thunderstorm warnings at 314 and 346 a.m. The tornado warning came in at 354 and the Clark Mills tornado formed four minutes later.